Having a career that you're not only going to love, but that you're proud of is the whole point, right? It's what we're all aiming at. But you've got to decide what sort of person you are. Are you an indoor sort of person or an outdoor sort of person? If you like wrapping your mind around a problem and then getting stuck in with your hands and actually building stuff, then you've got to come with me because we're going to explore the wonderful world of building and construction thanks to the Construction Training Fund. That is just about perfect. Check it out. Made it myself. To get yourself into the building and constructing industry, you need the right qualifications. If you're still at school, a Certificate 2 in Building and Construction Trades pathway as part of a VET in schools course is your best bet, and it'll open doors for you when you start your building career. Brian, how you doing? Yeah, good. Good to see you. Yeah, you hey, I've got a couple of questions about your apprenticeship. Can you come yeah. and have a chat? Yeah, no worries. Right, let's do it. You did this all by yourself, that's really good. All right, Ryan, take a seat. Now, you're currently in the middle of an apprenticeship for carpentry. Yep. How'd you get stuck into that? Last year when I was at school, I did a certificate two in building and construction. I went through the construction training fund and they got me into TAFE and you get to have a look at all the wet trades like brick laying, tiling, and then you go through to like carpentry and joinery and roof tiling and yeah, a bit of everything. So you get to see all through the whole building aspect. And I did a heap of work experience in carpentry and joinery and just through all that, I decided that that's what I really wanted to do. Yeah. You're great, get a broad knowledge. Yeah, that's it. Makes yeah. you a better carpenter. Yeah. So why carpentry? How'd you figure out that's the one for you? I don't know, just throughout all my work experience, I just really enjoyed it. So just decided I'd go along with it. Keep on going. Yeah, that's right. it, yeah. And so what happens when you finish? What are you going to do? Oh, I'm not sure what I want to do, but you can go do a heap of different stuff. Like you can just go out on your own, do your own ruse, and then, or you could go do your builder's ticket and... Have your own company. Yeah, that's it. Make yeah. heaps of money. Yeah. All right, Ryan, let's do the edge. Got to take yeah. the information, put it in a little nutshell. Here we go, three questions. Uh, if I want to get enrolled in what you do, what do I have to do? Oh, jump online and go into the construction training fund, nolimits.com.au, and they'll get you into what you want to do. Fantastic. Question number two, what sort of person is going to love doing what you do? Oh, you've got to be hands-on and really outdoory, so not going to want to have to sit behind a desk for the rest of your life. And if you could give a bit of advice to someone who's, you know, maybe thinking about doing what you're doing, what would you tell them? Get straight onto it, don't wait around, just... Get into it, yeah. You can start making stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like this, check it out. Made it earlier. What do you think? Yeah, nice no, one. Yeah. Do you know what it is? <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> How good is that? And the best thing is, if you want to get stuck into it sooner, you can start studying your trade in year 11. So now, if that sounds like something that's up your street, you need to get some more info. studentedge.com.au. I'm going back in. See ya. <laughs>